Gentlemen, the Lord is good, isn't it? All the, Lord the time. is very good. All the time. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. And today I would like to share with you one of the primary purpose of the cross of Calvary. One of the primary purpose of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is, is this, is this is you, picture? Sorry? This is picture is you? The holiness of Can God. Can I ask a question? One of the primary purpose of the cross is to demonstrate the holiness of God. Because Jesus knew that he came as a man, he was made man, that as a man he may save man from what? From the penalty, the power, and some point in the future from the presence of sin. No, I'm asking you, that is why Charles Jesus Christ Darwin. came. Well, that's about Charles Darwin. In Isaiah chapter 9, it's very interesting. I didn't know that until I studied my Bible. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. That's his first coming. He came as a baby. Why? Our Muslim friends, with my due respect, they do not understand why Jesus came as a baby. There is a reason why Jesus came as a baby. In Genesis chapter 3, the fall of man, when Adam falls short of the glory of God, partake from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because of that disobedience, not only the snake was cursed physically, the snake was cursed spiritually. The snake we see today, my friend, it wasn't like that we saw 2,000 years ago. The Bible describes the snake as the one of the crafting or cunning creature in the garden God created. That's why the devil chose the snake to speak to Eve. You know why? Because the devil is a deceiver. The devil is a deceiver. He's a liar and a father of all lies. The devil is not your friend, sister. Child of God, daughter of God, child of God, the devil is not your friend. Trust me. The devil is our enemy. And the devil has one plan, one program, one purpose. God bless you. His plan is to destroy our life. That's why he came, the devil. The Lord Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John chapter 10, 9 and 10, he said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Why? The thief comes not, the devil comes not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's why the devil came, to kill, to destroy. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ said, I am come that you may have life. And, well, I'm sorry, what language do you speak? Arabic. I don't speak Arabic very well. I don't speak Arabic very well. I don't speak Arabic very well, trust me. And I only one phrase, listen. قال لو يسوع المسيح أنا هو الطريق والحق والحياة ليس أحد. No. No. You see, you speak English now very well. You speak English very well, better than me. No, trust me, you speak better than me. Where are you from? I'm me. I have no country, Habibi. I have no country. I am, I am, I am from above. I came down from heaven. To do. To do. I know you are. You are, you are made in the image of God and you are matter to God as much as I am matter to God. And he wants to have a personal relationship with you through his son Jesus Christ. We are, but we are, he has only one son. One son. Begot means one of the kind. One of the kind. He had only in essence, in nature, in substance, had only one son. And he sent that son. God doesn't need for son. Huh? Is he the greatest, isn't it? Is he the greatest, isn't it? According to your Quran, in a burning bush, according to your Quran, yeah. I can give you the reference when I step down. In the Quran, when Moses was about to, you know, looking at that bush was burning. And Allah says to Moses, remove your sandal. For the ground you are standing is holy ground. 
and it said clearly it says I Allah says I in a burning bush so my question to you Habibi if Allah be in a creation like the fire he can come at the Sun he's the greatest he can do what he wants to do okay he can do what he wants to do yeah but God doesn't need our son our shirt he doesn't need all of us okay let me ask you a question God forbid May you live 120 years, you know? 120 years you may live, I pray. You're going to live like Moses, 120, yeah. 120. Yeah. But if you die right now, without a shadow of doubt, if you die right now, do you have the assurance of salvation? Do you know whether you'll be in heaven, in hell, or in heaven? Where I will be? Yeah. I will be like, it's a depend on my faith. Like it's a depend on my, what I do in this life, like good things. Do you think the good, the good things, doing good work, will take you to heaven? Yeah. Are you sure? But in, but in the last the last step you may you may mess up. What? You, now you are a, a, a good Muslim. You but call, maybe I will be bad Muslim, but the important then, things. Then God, you lose your salvation, God, isn't it? God will forgive us uh, the bad things. Uh, forgive us in in who? Forgive us in who? In who? Because today is this Ramadan start? When is the Ramadan start? After ten days. After ten days. You see, after the Ramadan, you got Yom Al-Qubur, yeah? yeah? Yom Al-Qubur, you sacrifice animal. For why? Why you sacrifice? Sacrifice animal? Yeah, you kill the animal. All victims kill the animals. I know, I know, but why, why in a particular day, in a month, yeah. after Ramadan, you got Yom Al-Qubur? Because my family are Muslim, they are Sunni Muslim. Ibrahim, Ibrahim. No, I know, Ibrahim didn't sacrifice Ishmael. No, Ibrahim... According to my Quran, no. Ibrahim sacrificed... He was good. No, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. It was I. It was Isaac. It was Isaac. God said to Abraham, "Take thy son, thine only son, whom you love, to a mountain. I'm going to show you." So it was Isaac, not Ishmael. Yeah. It was Isaac, not Ishmael. So why do you? Why do you on a particular month, on a particular day, three days, four days in my country? My family they're all Muslim. Every year, my mother said, I sacrificed animal, I killed animal, and I put your name, Mustafa. I put your name in. But, but you see... There's meat for, for people. Doctor factories all killing I know, and, but and that's different. That's but different. But Ramadan, we sacrificed for Habibi, people. Habibi, Yom al Qubr, Yom al Qubr, it came out from the Jewish tradition. The Passover. So, excuse me, you agree with all the factories and uh, who killed like millions of uh, chicken and... Uh, many kind of meats and you are angry because Arab sacrifice in lamb I'm not angry for beer, beer, no no, no I'm not angry I'm just asking I'm just trying to explain I'm just trying to explain before Jesus came when they were the temple and the priest so the priests have to sacrifice animal on behalf and you know uh, of the nation of Israel to offer a sacrifice for the sin of the nation that was the animal sacrifice system before Jesus came yes but when Jesus came Yahya John the Baptist said behold the lamb of God not a prophet, not a king, not an angel, not a good man, not a righteous man. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. He became the final sacrifice. Why he, Jesus will be the Lamb of God? Why? Because... He doesn't need to kill his son. You know why? So you know why? I will tell you why. Sorry, Habibi, please, just one, just one question. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, this prophecy was fulfilled in Jesus Christ. God said to Moses, and I will put enmity, conflict, war between you and the devil between your seed and the seed of the devil and guess what the seed of the woman will crush your head and thou shalt bruise his heel and that prophecy was fulfilled only in jesus christ yes okay. Habibi. I respect your Ma salama. Ma salama, Habibi.